What's up, Pisces? It's your girl, Dominique, with Empathic Guidance, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today, I'm back for your first half of March 2022 reading. This is just a general overall reading of the highlights of the month, you know, what may take place. Um, I got y'all's money reading up. Um, it's in shorts, so just go ahead and check out the videos section and you'll find all my shorts and we have march money moves the moves y'all gonna be making to improve y'all you know income and money so without further ado we gonna hop right into this reading y'all i'm hoping for a great month for y'all because i know it's y'all birthday season happy birthday all right so let's get into what holy divine spirit angels ancestors and spirit guides to the highest white light Please use me as a vessel, a clear, concise channel messages for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the first half of March 2022. What's coming in for the sign of Pisces? Mm -hmm. So we get decisions in reverse. So yeah, you guys are coming out of confusion when it comes down to something. Uh, I feel like it's been hesitation and procrastination when it comes down to a specific decision that you guys have been having to make in your life um you guys are showing up as the king of cups wow okay male or female but of course if you're a female this can be the masculine energy in your life they could be finally making a decision where they've been in a period of um being at a crossroads not really knowing what to do not really knowing which direction to take this can be as it pertains to you know anything um it says release release yourself from that which holds you back a need to detox unnecessary worry based on a lack of self-confidence all right so somebody been at a crossroads because really it had to do with the amount of confidence that they was bringing to the situation so of course this can be as it pertains to your career or relationship wise because both areas of our life require confidence in order for us to be able to thrive and you know blossom you know so somebody here is showing up in a very trustworthy energy somebody is ready to you know basically be an honorable person you know this could be a diplomat just you know uh somebody that truly does work that involves caring about others you know what i'm saying or this can be the man of your life or you could be this man you know and it's like whatever self-esteem issues when it comes down to trust or just needing some sense of control is starting to like dissipate. Somebody here is trusting in, in the process more and needing less control and being in less fear. The high priestess. Okay, so there go your energy, Pisces. So you starting to use your intuition more in this month. I feel like it's things that can be, yeah, this could be a masculine energy that is uh, very intuitive and receiving a lot of powerful psychic insight that's helping them make this decision where they didn't have the confidence to make it before. And it's been a lot of deception. I feel like some deception is being uh, illuminated in the month of March for you guys, which is definitely, you know, Finding out things, you know, or people in our life are being deceptive, it can be painful. But Pisces, what I'm getting from this is that this is giving you the push forward that you need to start a new beginning. It's giving you more trust for the other situation. So here's the thing. Somebody could have been actually holding you back, Pisces, by lying to you, by manipulating the situation. But somebody's lies are being illuminated this month. And that's going to be the catalyst to a brand new beginning here is what I'm getting. Something that's exciting. Something that you're passionate about. You know, it could be a new relationship or a new project in your life. If you have people in your life that was basically holding you back by, you know, um, projecting into you that, you know, things that you wanted or you had as goals was like unlikely to happen for you. It's like you starting to see the truth in those individuals. They starting to have a mass slip to the point where um, you starting to see that when it comes down to anything you tell them that should be perceived as good news by them or should be things that they should be helping you celebrate. Instead, it's like they try to make you feel unsure about it. And you starting to peep the pattern. And I just saw 444. But that's because it is high priestess energy. That's because your spiritual team is basically tired of just sitting back and allowing people to throw shade 
on the things that that could be a very positive force a very positive movement a very uh great idea or invention of yours that people may be trying to press down and it could even be your relationship people could be lying on your partner or just finding ways to manipulate you know and alter the trust between you and the person that you want to be with and i see you finally gaining the sense of clarity this month through psychic insight through reflection and, med uh, and meditation and getting you know the peace that you need to be able to make the decision to move forth with confidence you know that's what i'm seeing here Some of you guys could be having a child, you know, finding out that your spouse is pregnant. Maybe this was a decision that was being made. Like, do I accept this or do I not? You know, uh, which alternative are we going to take? Are we going to go through with this or are we going to choose an alternative route? Because somebody wasn't confident here, but they gaining that confidence now. Because for some of y'all, the deception could have even been to yourself. You know, making yourself feel like you incapable of doing certain things, becoming a mother, becoming a father, becoming a husband, um, taking on that, that lead role at your job or starting this new endeavor that's going to put you in a position to be able to provide for yourself and be self-sufficient and not even have to work for anybody else. You know, it just depends on where this is coming. But for some of y'all, y'all could be having a baby boy. I'm getting a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration. The chance to do something amazing. A sense of wonder. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and, and inspiring success. So you guys finally got out of y'all head about something and start looking at something here in a more positive perspective is what I'm getting. So let's go ahead and clarify this energy. Okay, let's clarify this spread for the sign of Pisces for the month of March 2022. Yeah, it's been a separation here and it could have been due to rumors and lies and now you're starting to see people around you for who they truly are. Yeah. Somebody had to was trying to make a decision as to whether to start something new or not. I'm not going to lie because I'm getting opposite energies here. Like it seems as though the decision here is to you know, keep something going or revitalize something here because I'm seeing or move away from something that's not growing to something that is growing. But I'm seeing here that a new beginning is going to cause a heartbreak for somebody else. So whatever it is that you're going towards, people definitely was telling lies to try to keep you from it. You know what I'm saying? Trying to keep you stuck in a situation where the passion is gone, where it's no more growth there. And you had to make a decision as to whether you was going to listen to other people or follow your own heart. But this is going to cause, like, heartbreak and sorrow on somebody. You moving on, you going towards something that you're more passionate about. You seeing past the lies and the illusion. There we go. Double high priestess, man. It's just keep doubling down. I'm telling y'all. Okay, y'all could have been taking a spiritual bath or the next moon that come up. You might just feel like your intuition, y'all third eye is just like wide open. Y'all crown chakra as well. And it could be like y'all taking a spiritual bath or something because I'm seeing her in the bath and then on this high priestess, it's like water that's running like a fountain underneath her feet. So it could be something about water here. Outside of y'all being a water sign, it could be something like when y'all take showers, y'all get downloads. You know, when y'all running water, when y'all drinking water, when y'all washing the dishes, when y'all doing something that's invoked by water. Some of y'all, if y'all, if you guys dug deep enough into y'all gifts, y'all might like um, 
be able to read the water. I don't know if that's called like hydromancy or what, or if that's like magic to manipulate the emotions. But, you know, I feel like it, you guys work really well with water. So start paying attention to that because a lot of times it's like you may just be thinking that you daydreaming in the shower or when you're taking a bath, specifically, you know, spiritual bath. Like if you put mugwort or if you boil down mugwort and use the abstract as, as like uh, something to, to spiritually bathe in, you will start to get downloads from your ancestors like crazy, you know. So you guys, that may be one of y'all gifts that's being kind of... um discovered in the month of March so yeah it's somebody yeah it's been it's been rumors and it's been lies it's been a lot of uh immature communication you know and I feel like if you have been into it with somebody if you and somebody been kind of at each other throat Pisces it's because other people around you are being deceptive to you about the intentions of the person that you've been into it with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you. Y'all, I don't know, but I'm definitely getting the energy here for some of you. And this may not be for all of you, but for some of you, this this decision that's being made this month is whether or not to keep a child. Somebody been having to make a decision like can i afford another child can i afford a child right now is this the best time do i know this person well enough i don't know what the circumstance is for you because of course you know for those of you where that applies it's going to be something different for everybody but somebody here have to make a decision as to whether they're going to keep a child or not and i feel like it's been a lot of immature communication between the two people the person that want to keep the child is completely heartbroken at the other parent or you know the other future parent is even thinking about the opposite you know route the other route other than going full term but somebody might have a wife here that may be why it's like somebody here could have like financial ties or have financial uh, roots set in one foundation and then emotions in another. And I feel like that's the reason why it's such a hard decision for whoever that applies to because I'm getting that that's not going to apply to everybody here. It could even be the influence of somebody's mother. Like, somebody's mother could, like, highly exalt one partner, choice, suitor, admirer, option. I mean, hate to say it, but I mean, it's true. People be having options out here. And it seems like somebody here does. Okay? And it's, like, one thing that they feel like, um... I don't know, either they outgrew or they feel like they're not going on the same path as. They don't see things the same. They don't see eye to eye. So, it's like you, it could be either or. Either you could have people interfering, Pisces, trying to tell you to stay with somebody that you don't want to be with anymore. Even like if you got new love coming in. And they could be like bashing a new partner or whatever the case is to try to get you to stay with the person that you've been with for a long time, which I can understand. If your family get attached to the person that you've been with for a long time for them to want to defend that person. But ultimately, the choice is yours. Let's get one more. But somebody, yeah, Capricorn, okay? We got Pisces and Capricorn energy here. Strongly, at the bottom of the deck, yeah. It's like somebody want to be single here. Somebody want to be single, focus on their money, but they also, this is still a decision that's being made because even if you do got feelings for somebody new in your life, Pisces, you may feel like it's too early to be having a new baby. Somebody want to be single and like focus on themselves, focus on they, the growth of their finances. Somebody here feel like someone is just too controlling. 
they feel like somebody here got a dark side to them. Or somebody's dark side is being exposed this month. Let's see, y'all. Let's see what the hell is going on here because it's crazy. So, I mean, just take what messages resonate with you because I feel like it's it's a couple of um, stories here. Because I know that whole the whole child situation isn't going to resonate with every single person. But I feel like the person that could be t being told, like, you know, we have to terminate. They are shattered. Let's see why sorrow is here. Which is the three of swords. Yeah, somebody is apologizing. That It's like someone is trying to move on peacefully is what I'm getting here. It's like, you know, I'm really sorry, but I got to move on. Energy. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? Yeah, somebody feel like they don't have enough to be able to take care of this new endeavor. Ooh. Somebody done got a tarot card reading too. Somebody here getting tarot card readings. And I feel like that's what's helping. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's the high priestess. Okay, y'all. So, for some of you Pisces, you guys can actually read tarot. If not, others of you are going to a tarot reader. Hmm. Yeah, but somebody been investigating about... Going to a tarot card reader about, what is this? Yeah, trying to get some illumination, trying to get a, something. Like, should they allow something in or should they stay loyal to something here? Or trying to see if somebody here is loyal. They wanted to expose this person. Or you wanted to expose somebody, Pisces. I'm not sure. But somebody definitely... um was having a oh boy somebody here was having a hard time making a decision because they needed to know the truth before they either ended some something ended a relationship or ended a pregnancy oh boy And based on that, that the decision was made. Somebody got a tarot card reading and made a decision off a of tarot card reading alone. Okay? They allowed that to cause an ending. Rather than... I mean, somebody here could could be feeling like they will lie somewhere else. That's what I'm getting. Like, somebody feels like, you know... They have a strong friendship and foundation with somebody here. But I feel like the, the whole tarot card reading was about, like, basically, who can I have the most successful life with? And this person is going, like, I don't know whether it's you or if it's the Capricorn or, you know, another sign. Because it can be any sign, guys. But I'm mostly getting Pisces and Capricorn and Leo here. Strongly, those three signs. But with the lovers in reverse, it's like a decision being made. And it could be based off of like some type of investigation or a tarot card reading. Somebody is really tired of verbal abuse and a connection. Yeah. Somebody could be feeling like verbally abused online. So somebody could be posting really negative posts about their person and that's just killing the vibe. So Pisces, I don't know which situation is which, but it you could have been in a situation where you was in a very toxic, verbally abusive connection that you could have been feeling like, and I don't know if you got yo the person you've been with for a long time pregnant or if you got somebody new pregnant, 
because I'm getting that this is a masculine energy. Now, if you the feminine Pisces, take it as it resonates because it is a king of cups here. And then, like, like I said, I'm getting um strong, strong Leo in Capricorn. But it's like if somebody like work online or something, they using their work to basically abuse their partner, verbally abuse their partner. So I don't know. Why is failure here? But somebody feel like they invested so much, like this was a waste of time. Or they could have felt like they failed their relationship by getting somebody else pregnant. Didn't I say somebody mama was involved? Yes. Uh, somebody mama played too heavily of a role here. The family in general. Like, it's too many people up in the biz naive in this situation. Yeah. And the mother is trying to tell somebody here what they feel like is best to be done on a godly level but it's hurting this person okay so somebody hate and hurts uh hate to leave or to stop like listening to people or taking people advice because they figuring out that everybody don't have their best interest at heart here that people just want to control them being fake being fake wearing a mask doing stuff for their own gratification okay Let's see, why is the devil here? The cards keep popping out. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, it's like one partner want this thing to end and the other person don't. But we keep getting the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands done showed up twice. Twice, I mean three times. Two times in the upright and once in reverse. So once again, I don't know, like, somebody got multiple routes here, and it's depending, like, they got everybody opinion going on here, then they got a, they talking to a high priestess energy, where they getting tarot card readings, I feel like the tarot card reading is helping your person or you decide who to end a, a connection with, but it looks like somebody is starting something new, because of something that's being illuminated here. Yep, that's what I got for y'all. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe. And I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.